All right, so uh, let's look at this uh, stuff. Sorry for the darkness. It's uh, you know, it's dark. So here's the uh, the backing piece, the the rubberized part, the part that goes between the metal and the uh, um, and the brake pad. So this 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 side is the brake pad, and this side is the little metal backer. So remember the metal backer, this metal backer right here. So it goes like this, and uh, this side is the brake pad. So, anyways, uh, so this side is relatively clean. I use Simple Green, so it's pretty clean now. Uh, this I still feel a little couple of rough spots here and there, and I think that's the uh, the the disc brake quieter. Uh, this side definitely has it, and this is these two round round patterns here. That's that's uh that's from um, uh, from the, the back of the brake pads. So that is 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 little round indents. So basically, I take this. Uh, razor instead of actually going in and trying to cut it off Because uh, this whole thing is like rubberized. I don't want to dig into the rubber. What I do is I, I do it this way And I just, just do it going that direction. Actually, I'm more like a nine almost 90 degree angle I kind of do this that will scrape off the um, whatever rubber pieces Rubber amount that's on there Let me Try a different light like that. I just basically do this So I'm scraping off that that uh that this brake quieter, you know, because that stuff is like seems like a silicone. It's almost like you know, it has the consistency of silicone, uh, uh, like silicone caulking almost. That's probably what it is. Probably some type of a silicone, because you know, silicone holds up the heat pretty well. So I do that. You know, go different directions around here and there in different directions and it's basically it's pretty much smoothing out it actually helps it's even faster if you actually have some simple green I spray it with simple green and that is actually works even better that way I, go, I just go back and forth like this so that way I keep the simple green on there like so back and forth like that and it's pretty smooth it's not perfectly smooth but I think it's close enough So this thing is definitely metal, and, and it's, you know, it's a, uh, it's a rubber, uh, rubberized metal. So that's pretty good. I'll do a little bit more on that side. So basically that's how I clean it. If you don't want to waste time, you could just order another, you know, some pieces, and I didn't, that's what I should have done, but I didn't, uh, I didn't. Because uh, I, you know, because I got the, the different, I got the aftermarket brake pads, so uh, um, so I didn't uh, get the OE brake pads. If I got the OE brake pads, I probably would have ordered the, this backing piece along with it as well. Save myself time. And I have no idea how much this this costs, but the OE brake pads are you know 200 bucks just for the just just for those Brembo's for the front. So that's pretty pricey. I have no idea. Again, I have no idea how much this this stuff is. So basically, that's it. Clean it up. You know, now all I need to do is rinse it. The back side has a little bit of roughness here and there as well. Do that as well. Really quickly. Yeah, simple green. So. so yeah, so basically that's all, that's all you need to do. So now it's much smoother. All that rough, wherever that had that, that caulking stuff, it's pretty much gone. And you still preserve the, uh, you still preserve the, the rubberized backing piece. You know, you don't really take much of that stuff off at all. You do it this way. Listen to it. When you hear it, it sounds almost like plastic almost. The rubber backing piece sounds almost like plastic.
Yep. That's, that's done. So that's how you uh, clean it up. Um, so that's the, uh, this is the metal side, and this is the brake pad side, the backing of the brake pad. So all you need to do is rinse it, and I'm done. Alright, so stay tuned for the next video.